Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to the map editor and welcome back to this island that we are making. Last time we were working on some clefts over here on the beach. In fact, what we were doing was we were piling rocks that we'd already piled, but they were needing to be a little bit more obvious. This was a way up and not just a mess. So we added some foliage, we added some little steps and bits and pieces so that a player can go from one side of the island to the other side of the island without having to uh to literally walk on the beach you know i can go up through the forest now and that is great that is absolutely brilliant we've done a service to anyone who would play on the map however we also added this little cave until when in the comments was like oh wouldn't it be great if there's a little skelly bob in there and i'm like yes it would be great if there was a little skelly bob in there so uh before we do that um why don't we go through the controls if you're not familiar with the map editor and you're just jumping into this episode why would you do that to yourself i don't know we are going to be using w to move forward s to go back a to go left d to go right q to go down e to go up we are panning with uh, clicking and holding the right mouse button to pan around there we go panning around excellent um if we select an object shark are you shark or are you stick oh. Well, now you're shark. Uh, we're using R to rotate, T to transform. We are using C to clone, delete to delete. All the, show, all the keyboard shortcuts look great, doesn't it? And if we look away, we can press F to focus. Excellent. I think that's everything. Um, if you have something selected and you were in objects mode and it's not got this little XYZ coordinate or the little rotation coordinates, um, you can click the buttons below terrain objects and camera. They do exactly the same thing. So transform, rotate at the bottom is focus and clone and delete. So uh, click on those if your shortcut keys are not working. I think we've covered everything. Excellent. Excellent. And also, mm, yeah, no, excellent. Three excellents one in a row it helps us to form the next part of the sentence wait what yeah you find that people say things like um or repeat words uh because they're forming the next part of the sentence in their mind and it's not often it's not often um maligned because it also keeps the sentence flowing i'm getting distracted because we should be clicking on structures we can kind of already see what we're about to do so uh i have the pp selected let's move that out a second um in fact let's just straight delete it because it's now not stuck to the forest floor we have the little cave it's not that deep uh we put a bush in there to kind of mask the some of the some of the rocks it's uh it's just Big, big rocks stacked against the, uh, the the cliff. Cliff six. No, we're stuck in a tree. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. So if the camera is herky jerking around, it's nothing. Nothing that I'm doing. It's, the computer is powerful enough to run all of this. But 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 there is no uh, there is no constant velocity for the camera. So uh, basically, what you do is, is as soon as you get close to an object, the camera slows down. The more objects there are, the more jerky the camera becomes because it keeps wanting to slow down for each of the objects why i don't know i don't know who would do something like that a mad person so we have uh, i think we actually have shelter eight selected so if we drag that from there we have this huge bead of shelter and i'm like oh, that's too big but it's going to follow the terrain and then we can hit r to rotate rotate it around wait a second wait a second wait a second oh it's witchcraft yes it is thank you for playing um no it's great and the other thing that happens is every time we let go, uh, because we got so many objects together, what can happen is it just selects something randomly in the background. So the focus tool is actually quite useful. I'm not sure that the skeleton is actually a physics object, but I do believe the little crate in the background is a physics object. So we're going to try and position it so the crate is kind of not stuffed into terrain. Um, why are you using shelter eight and not any of the other shelters? That is a good question. Did I just move a rock in the background? Ooh, that going to be interesting in the future. Um, yeah, the, the the reason for that is... Oh, now I'm paranoid about that and move the rock in the background. The reason for that is it's a huge... Oh, camera, get off the tree! Uh, it is a huge bit of uh, wood, but by jamming it into the terrain, we've got a lot of terrain here. We only get these these wooden... Uh, uprights we get a little bit of roof from the inside which is kind of nice and then we get the skelly bob in the cave and i'm like oh that actually works quite well it's a skelly bob on the ground um yes it is now there's bearing in mind there's probably going to be uh, foliage and things like ground foliage ground, ground texture there mm. did we move anything in the background well we have to basically go in a line uh from where we were looking to where we are looking i don't think i see anything moved 
Oh, that's going to make me paranoid now. That's going to make me paranoid. We have so many objects between us and the horizon that it could have been any of those. Oh. Uh, yeah. We could have moved them on an XYZ coordinate. We could have pushed something off into the sea. So you've got to be very careful. Even, even that cliff that we just touched is now another object is now selected over there. Um, why does it why does it not lock or why does the selection not lock onto a single object? I don't know. I don't know if it's a quirk of unity. Uh, so we hit terrain and objects so we don't have anything selected. Yeah. I don't know if it's a quirk of unity or whether it's just the the editor and the way it's been configured. Not entirely sure. So we're gonna hit up uh, terrain and objects so we don't have any anything selected. Ooh, I'm super paranoid now. Um, but we're going to have to roll with it. There's no control Z, by the way. You can't undo an, uh, an item. We can reload from an earlier save. Uh, but, well, no, let's live with our mistakes. We make mistakes, we live with them, and we learn from them. Also, we end up with a tree that's up on the freaking skybox somewhere. Uh, yeah, what, what do you, we had a PP. Pee we had PP in there. There was no PP anymore. Now there's more PP. Right, okay, excellent. So the cave has, uh, well, it's got a body in it. There's a little wooden boat. I don't mind there being a gap there because, um, well, where I live currently, they do build things in caves. There is a, um, well, what is it? It's the telegraph station. And during World War II, they built it in a cave uh, down in Porth Kerno. And in order to stop water getting on all of the very sensitive equipment um they built a little house in the cave so that's not an unknown thing uh rocks are porous especially granite so that's kind of um yeah skelly bob in a cave i don't mind that so much that's excellent and yeah as we can see there's no other bits of boat or shelter sticking out that kind of works quite well that works very very well and i'm still freaking paranoid about something moving in the background what was it was it a rock was it a cliff we may never know <gasps> We may never know. Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 I'm not reloading. Um, speaking of annoying, this bit here is kind of annoying. We we kind of built out into the sea, uh, built these little islandy bo bits, bobs, bits and bobs, and they were fine. They were fine. They were kind of setting up the, uh, the idea that we would do the same thing over here. So we would have uh, little offshore islands with little biomes and stuff on them but this, this bit here this bit here um it's not that far from the abyss Ooh, i don't like that even the map editor i don't like that i think we can do more i think we can make this much more than it actually is especially since this whole area still feels a little bit under underdeveloped it feels a little bit, a little bit naked and i don't like it if it feels a little bit naked i mean not when it comes to my islands so we should do something about this oh um the other thing you need to know about the map editor are those little floaty bits and bobs at the top yeah that's level of detail the level of detail in the uh, map editor is quite aggressive and it's not great so we are going to go to the train brush tool excellent it's on set to huge why do we we don't want huge we want it smaller so we'll take the the, the top size and slide the size down so it's not huge I mean, big is fine, but huge is just unmanageable. You don't want huge. Um, we will s select the third option. Uh, no, second option. What am I talking about? The read terrain paint height button. We're going to click on that right at the bottom. We are going to click on the beach. Mm, yeah, we're going to click on the beach. Bear in mind, this whole area gets a little bit flooded at high tide. Uh, click here. I think that is going to be a good one. And then we are going to... Change the amount slider all the way down, remembering that through all of these options, the size and the amount sliders are inherited, and I don't know why, that's just a crazy thing that happens. There's no undo, so I mean it's dangerous. Dangerous. Uh click on the cog, display ocean. Oh yeah, no, no. We need to look uh, okay. Let's look at a plant, hit display ocean, and now move the camera up and down, and the whole shadow layer just follows us. That's crazy. Cray gray, right? Display ocean on, doesn't happen. We look at the sun, display ocean, turn it off, look back in the ground, the whole shadow layer is anchored to the ground. Why does that happen? I think it's probably because it's anchored to the mesh initially. Oh, the water mesh. Um, so we know that it was about here that was 
things were, were happening. Oh, can I click on the right thing? I don't know why the, the settings option still has the brush tool. So it, it trips me up every time. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, so we're going to push the terrain up around here. And we're going to make a little lagoon. What? Yeah, I guess I should really just tell you guys what we're doing before we do it. I'm making a lagoon. It's fine. A lagoon? Isn't that, isn't that like a peanut? No, that's a legume. That's a, something else. Uh, a lagoon is an area which is... Uh, I'll tell you what. No, it's fine. We'll, we'll work it out when we get there. So let's brush this down. So it's going to be a little bit of brushing. And then there's going to be a little bit of planting a lot of trees. If you know what I mean. And I think you do. Um, but it can be deep in the middle. Because it can. Why, why would it not? Why would we not do that? So we'll bring that up. And we're also going to bring this up here. And over here. Because it's not quite where we need it to be. Because um, apparently what we did last time was witchcraft. And I don't like that. And it's like, oh, what did you do the thing that you did last time? I, I don't know. Sometimes I just do things and I forget about them and then I come back to them and, and I'm like, why, why did you put wheels in that thing? I, I don't know. It just seemed like it needed wheels. Um, right. Right. Okay. So we've got a rough horseshoe shape. Boop, boop, boop. Excellent. We've made this island a slightly bigger. Um, we want the inside to be kind of deep. So let's push it down, raise and lower. Remember the amount slider is super aggressive, so we need two two points off the end of the stop. Uh, we set to lower, we're gonna change the size of the brush up. We're gonna click, and then we're just gonna push this down in the middle. <gasps> it's all down. Yeah, it is. It's all falling away. There we go. That's a little bit better. It's a little bit a little bit um uh, hmm. Je ne sais quoi. No, I don't I, I don't really know. Uh, so we'll push this around here. So this is the smoothing brush, it's the third of the options, it's the most fun of the options. But wait, why would we do that now? That's a good question. Let's go with the first option. Let's go back, change the mount slider all the way down, and hit raise. Because these little island boys, they're not big enough. Not big enough. Uh, we need to move this side of the brush down. Just raise it up so we get some dry sand there. Yeah, because otherwise we're going we're gonna to be into a little bit of a problem. You know what I mean? A little, a little bit of a problem. Uh, so we'll push the sand out. I like, I like the dry sand. Dry sand means it's going to be certainly above the waterline, even if we have, even if we have the uh, the water layer uh, sort of turned off. I don't know where I was going. That it's just making a noise like a snake. This is like uh, hiss. Um, mm, sir hiss. <gasps> oh, Disney's uh, Disney's Disney's Robin Hood. Yay! That's a good film. Um, let's push this out here. So we got some dry sand. This is going to help when we come to smooth it off. Smooth it off. Yay! All right. So we're going to grab the smooth side of the brush, and then we're going to change the amount up. It's about halfway. It's going to average all these points out. We're just going to push and hold and brush it all the way over the island, over the little bowly bit in the middle, and over this island here. And what it's going to do is get all these aggressive little nubbins and bits and pieces off and just kind of average those points and make everything a little bit smooth, a little bit more au naturel. Hmm. I like it. I like it. Another. So we'll push this back. Uh, hmm. Yep. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's good. So click on the clog. Clog? Cog. Display ocean. Clog? What? I don't know. So now we have a little horseshoe shape, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We've got a little little bowl in here. We've got a little bit of sand here, and I'm not entirely sure whether to keep that the way it is. Uh, we can change the time of day on this last setting, and just see... Ooh, oh, so that's low tide. That's absolute low tide here. There's still visible water through there, right? Uh, still visible water through there there and not there oh interesting 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 we change the time of day and that's about high tide so the water certainly comes through certainly comes through certainly comes through and absolutely comes through right let's change it back to about midday so we've got most of the light excellent so we have kind of an ugly little bowl there hashtag ruined i think so yeah hmm 
I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Um, we also have this kind of aggressive little bend here. So what we're going to do is set height, retrain set height, click there. Um, we are going to change the amount of slides down because we know this thing's inherited. And we're just going to change the size down a little bit as well. It's going to push in and get rid of some of that off the corner there because it doesn't make sense for it to all be... Um, that's better. It's much better. Right, and then smooth and brush and just smooth it back. I mean, it doesn't mean, matter if it's all underwater. It, what it does matter if it's... Uh, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, it's a bit better. Here. Yeah. Crank the amount slider and rip it off. Uh, that's better. Yep. That feels better. The the trouble was, you know, these little nubbins. Oh, bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. That's the problem. Let's see if they, dis no, they did disappear. Bubbles denote a separation between the water mesh and the land mesh. And if that happens, then you will see a gap when you go into the main game. That is not what we want. Right, so we've got a little little horseshoe there. Uh, we can probably erode some of the land as well. Maybe just a little bit. Let's do that. Uh, Raisin lower, I believe, is going to be our friend here. Change the amount down, because if we had it all the way up here, it would be... Well, it would be terrible. we punch a hole straight through to the center of the earth. And although that's funny in some respects, it's terrible in others. So what we'll do is just brush in just randomly there. Excellent. And then smooth, smooth, smooth. Third brush. Uh, crank it up. And then smooth along here. Excellent. That's... That yeah, worked out better than I thought it might do. Right. So, now we're looking. We're looking good. We are looking good. Right, let's, let's, uh, let's get some bits and pieces on here. Excellent. So. Oh, trees and rocks. Uh, we got some rocky boys. We got some big rocks. We're going to do exactly what we've done everywhere else. Because why not keep a theme going? I think it's a good idea, big rock too. You, you, you're going to, well, right, let's call you to arms here. Uh, T to transform, push you down into the ground. Nice. Oh, nice. That is actually quite nice. Uh, put you out. Rotate to R to rotate. Put it back a little bit. Down on the blue. Move around in the 3D space so you can actually see what's going on. Excellent. Uh, train objects so we don't have it selected anymore because we know that too many objects together causes a bit of a problem. And things get a little bit super spicy, super cereal, super... Um, oh, inconvenient actually. Uh, rotate you around, you know, using the R. Uh, push you down slightly into the ground. Rotate you on your axis, like a piece of space junk flying through, well, space. And there we go. Uh, green, I think so. I like the little bit of stuff poking out towards the sea. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I think T to transform because we know we've got two things kind of similar to each other. I want to try to remove that symmetry. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Uh, train objects, fine, cool. Uh, we have this already done. We can do something with that later and again here. So we're going to use the rocks as a kind of a way of saying this. That's why the sandbars are here and that's why the lagoon exists. Maybe there was... Oh, hello. Hello, little bubbles that ain't going anywhere. That is actually a genuine issue. Uh, so we'll hit raids, we'll change the amount down. Yeah, so these bubbles, very hard to see. That means there's going to be a gap right there, right there. So, uh, change the size of the... We can lower it a little bit, I guess. Uh, there we go. And then smooth, smooth tool. It's, it's a pain in the butt. It's one of those things that once you know it exists and can cause problems with your island, uh, you'll, be, you'll be forever trying to fix that. The way to do it is just to make the uh, the angle, the, the vertical angle needs to be a little bit more shallow and smooth. So that's what you do. Uh, create the amount, slide drop on the smoothing tool, by the way. Let's smooth along here. Oop, bubble's gone. Everything is nice. Cool. Nice. Like it. I like it. So we go back here and we go to objects. Uh, we need another little rock. We're going to take small rock one and you're going to uh, gonna go here. Rock to rotate. You transform down into the ground, rut, rot, rot, rotate. Why oh, my fingers? I don't know. T transform. Where are they gone? I don't know. Uh, we know that the sand, there's, so there's no, uh, there's no like grass sprites or anything peeking up. Fine. Uh, train objects. Cool. 
we're going to close the rock section we're going to open the trees and we're going to start getting some stuff down now we got some pine plant palm trees don't mind that this palm tree down here has a missing top because when we move away LED model for it in the map editor it's actually broken and it will stay broken oh we slammed our camera into a tree that's unfortunate but not terrible well I mean for us because we're recording but anyone else is just like hey, you know what that's not terrible I can just bring my camera back and no one's ever gonna see it because I'm not recording well I mean you could nothing's stopping you uh, hit R to rotate rotate it around there we got a bit of a tree and it's leading out to the sea and we're gonna press T to transform there we go that's my song I'm a rapper now um Hmm. Okay, seed clone, uh, rot rotate, rotate on the green axis, and at some point it's going to let go. So we're going to be in a situation where we can't select the tree anymore. That always happens, but make sure the branches aren't clipped through each other. They're not that beautiful, and they are leaning out to sea. It does mean that somebody coming up here with a raft has to steer it around the things that we've made, but you know what? It's their problem. That's their problem. Uh, focus tree, select you. Terrain objects, select you. Because we don't want to drag something out from the uh, from the toolbox and then just have it completely um, completely move something in, in the way that Windows sometimes just does. It's just like, ooh, you wanted you wanted that out the toolbox. I'm gonna I'm gonna drag something else out instead. No, 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 no. Windows don't don't drag everything. Oh, oh. oh there we got two trees. Two trees, two trees. Uh, T to transform. Move you in, move you out. Join you together. That's what it's all about. Oh look, there's two trees and now one tree. Oh, that's brilliant. So we have two trees. Excellent. I'm kind of liking that. Uh, train objects, so we don't have anything selected. Oh, Drifful Pile. I believe Drifful Pile is... Oh, we already have one. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, fine. Uh, we're gonna need a little bit of. We maybe have some rocks and stuff here. Let's throw some more rocks back down there. I believe it's. Oh, not items. Any rocks? Is it shoreline rocks down here? Yes, there. Are. Shoreline rock two. Pop you in. Oh, that'd be quite good here, actually. And here, we've already used it a little bit here. Oh, maybe we can't use it again. I think we could use it. Use them there. It's fine. Just down. Oh, down to ground a little bit. And but as we let go, it automatically selects the tree or the rock or something. So train objects. Yeah, the reason I'm not using it here as well is I just don't want that uh, that symmetry going on. It's like, well, you got too much in the way of symmetry. I know, right? That's a bit of a problem. Um, but we need something here. This is kind of as we move the the water out. It just feels a little bit empty. We've used Big Rock 3. Big Rock 4? Or we could. It's a little bit big though. No, that'll do. So Big Rock 5. Ask rotate. No, no, rotate. T to transform. Push it down to the ground. Uh, and then we can rotor rotate. T, I'm just going to position it in such a way that it, it's, it exists between land and water. But why would we do this? Um... That is an excellent question. Why would we do this? Because we want to put more stuff on this island and it just feels a bit empty without having some sort of barrier between the sea and the lagoon. Don't ask me. I'm just doing this. Uh, so what we're going to do is hit terrain objects and then close that. Go in trees. Hello. We need something here. Then we need some plants. Uh, is a bush going to be too big for this place? I believe it might be just a little bit too big. Is it still too big? Yeah, well, yeah, kinda, kinda. Oh, so we can auto rotate. Is it still too big? Um, no, I guess not. Yeah, we've managed to break the system. How do we do that? Because we're terrible people. So we got a little bit of bush. There's a little bit of shrub sticking out under the water. Slight problem. Auto rotate. Rotate it on the green axis. Put it down further than we think it needs to go because why would we not do that? Uh, so teach transform, put it into the rock a bit 
more. There we go. Hmm, that's not working. That's not going to work there, I don't think. I think it genuinely is too big. Okay, plan B. Goodbye. You have been selected for complete and total annihilation. So we already have Summon 2 or Summon 3. Hmm, Arcasia? I mean, she big, but useful. And not at all. Yeah, that's quite delightful. I like it. So, uh, rotate you so nothing's really visibly clipping through. I did see a little stalk clipping through the rock, but it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Uh, okay, you two, you can come over here. What we don't want, all we want to avoid is it looking like a garden sender. Just a little little bit of a garden sender problem. So, rotate. Rocks. Uh, teach transform, pull it up so the tip's not quite clipped in the sand. I guess the sand is not so much of a problem as just ignoring the fact that this leaf is clipped straight into the rock. So, hmm. I don't think the plants have a jiggle bones physics. I'm not entirely sure that's a thing with plants. I'm going to put it down so the leaf just touches the sand, uh, which means that during during like a breeze. I don't think they wobble. Do they wobble around? I can't remember. I think the trees might. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so we need something on here. Uh, so we got some plants and bits and pieces. Great, excellent. Uh, terrain objects. We're going to need something because it just feels a bit, you know, just a just a little bit. Shall I rock one? Yes. Let's absolutely never touch this ever. As soon as you let go, you cannot select it again. I, why? Why does that? Why is that still a thing? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Um, so let's do right to rotate. Teach transform. Put it into the ground. Right to rotate. T comes back. So this is this is a thing. We got the water mesh there. So that's where the water mesh actually is. Splash, 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 splash. As you run across between these two little islandy boys, right to rotate. Put you back, rotate you over a little bit, and just jam you into the ground. Excellent. It's just a little little way to break up that surface. I don't, don't like the surface being completely exposed. Uh, speaking of exposed, you are actually in the wall. And then you are driftwood, so I don't suppose that's so much for a problem. Excellent. Um, we have things to do over here, though. We need to do something, something crazy. I think this is probably where we can get the bush involved. I, why do you want to keep getting the bush involved? I just, you know, I just, I just, I just do. Don't, don't look at me like that. Um, so we go to trees. Bush. Can we, can we, can we? I mean, it just, it fits, does it not? I mean, that is water. <laughs> I think that is actually water there. No, 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 I want it in the sea. Hmm. No, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Oh, wait. Wait a second, it does. Because we can delete that. Yes, we can. We can grab the bush. Hello. Oh, because these trees are not harvestable trees. So if we rotate, rotate, transform. Uh huh. It just adds a little bit of green on the ground. Again, this is not something I thought of. This is something Tarwanian thought of way, way back in a comment a long time ago. It's like, well. We couldn't have, I think it was, we couldn't have grass somewhere, so she said, oh, use a bush instead. And it, it worked quite well. Uh, so, do this. Teach transform, move you out, and down. That's kind of okay. A little bit of greenery, where you wouldn't normally have greenery, because, oh, that's a rock we're moving. Excellent. Got to keep an eye on those rocky boys. So we'll move you ever so slightly down. Uh, then we'll head to train objects, trees, open up rocks, rock. grab you, T, transform, down into ground, but then push you out towards the sea. Excellent. A little bit. And rotate. T, transform. T, transform, but actually make sure you've got the bush selected. Excellent. Excellent. So we'll move it back a little bit, rotate it a little bit. That's better. Excellent. So that's, uh, let's put a little bit of greenery there. We put a rock there to kind of 
uh, shield it from the sea. I think we could probably do the same thing along here. Uh, terrain object so we don't have anything selected. Big rock. Uh, that big rock five. Mm hmm. Mm. Do we want something that's super huge and aggressive? I believe we don't. Um, but we can move that back a little bit. So what we've done is we've made a, like a mini cliff along here. Oh yeah. There we go. Just uh, added bits of bits of broken everything. What we can also do is it's kind of hard to see because the the way that the shadows work, the shadows are on the sea bed, but when you're above the sea, then the shadows don't exist on the sea bed and they only exist in the water mesh. I don't know why that is a thing. They shouldn't be here. They should be down there. But mm, maybe because it's a physical entity. Uh, we yeah we need rocks. We need shoreline rocks. Uh, shall I rock two? Make sure it's the broken one, and then we just slap it here. Kind of works. Mm, it kind of works quite well. Don't park your bike there, or your boat. Bike. Yes, the newest addition to Stranded Deep, the bike mod. Mm, right. You get to cycle around your island. Actually, that would be quite good. Little sand sand tires on our, on our push bike. That'd be quite sweet. Uh, so trees, <laughs> train objects, so we don't have any selected. So we got the version there. That's what we wanted to do. Well, that's what I wanted to do. I don't know what anyone else wanted to do. Maybe they just wanted to stop at the service station and just be like, Ooh, I just want ice cream. Well, no, we don't. You have ice cream at home. You can, you know, we'll get it when we're back. Um, so the Nana plant. Oh, is this Nana time? I believe we can have Nana time. There we go. Ah, yes, the Nana plant. It's kind of a weird collision box on it, so don't be too upset if it uh, if it breaks everything. Also, the the land's a bit lumpy here. We could do with a terrain smoothing tool. Uh, smooth along here while we see it. You don't see it until you start moving around in 3D space, and then think, hmm, that's a bit odd. It's a bit slightly better. It's not as good as it could be, but it's better than it was. Right, objects. Uh, Saruman, yes. Let's just get everything out. I want every I want everything and I want it now. Hmm. Well, I mean good good luck with that. Uh excellent. So we've got the ceremony out. Um So basically what we're doing is we're just creating a little lagoon where there was no lagoon, but adding a few plants, bits and pieces. But I think we can back up from that and just do something with this. So terrain objects while we have time uh we need big rock something that's not like that big rock six uh five i say big rock six wait a second what am i reading no 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 that's that's, that's that doesn't exist you you're making it up oh all right oh cool. so we'll move this out uh and then we'll use big rock one so big rock one and two and we would deselect something like that but i'm gonna put these together okay there you go. A little, little bit of a thing. Push that down to the ground. Yeah. And then do a little rotate on it. Rotate. 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 Key to transform. Green toggle in this instance. Pull it up. Yep. There we go. Mm. Oh, it kind of works. Uh, train objects. Get the trees back in line and grab some. Don't want the pines. We do want the palms under PA. Awful, I think. Not. I don't like that one. It's too small and broken. Uh, but this one's okay. So we'll put it down on the ground. Rot rotate, spin. Uh, we might want to do the same thing over here. This little little palmy boy. I mean, we could could get a few palms on there. Mm. I think here is probably better. Uh, where's the water mesh? We're not that far from high tide, so I'm not too worried about stuff ending up in a little bit of water, but that's not a problem. Okay, this uh, looks a little bit better. I mean, it does look a little bit better. I'm not gonna lie. It looks way better than it did before. Just having that symmetry. I mean, I know a player can come along and just chobble the trees down, but man, it looks better. If it feels better, then it probably is better. Uh, general rule of life. Rule of thumb. So the rule of three, three, five, and seven, um, because four looks too symmetrical. Wait, what? Yeah, no, it's general, general rules. 
Um, unless it's offering someone to cook someone dinner, in which case just give them one option because, you know, uh, that's the way that works. And is this going to work here? I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to delete that because I believe uh, actually what we can do is just put these two together. Yeah, we can. T transform, push it down a little bit, rotate, rotate, spin it randomly because the, the uh, palm tops are all the same. Don't mind me. I'm just pushing stuff around. So, um, me, I'm going to need something here. No, we're going to need rock. Oh, hmm. This is a. Uh, this is another, again, another little problem because we've got all these rocky boys. I mean, this island is quite a small island, but with the rocks and the trees and things, it suddenly looks a little bit bigger than it was. Uh, what we can do also is probably uh, take a rock. Big rock. Uh, nope, you are too big. So we can do the same thing here. Uh, yep, we're hard to rotate. Uh, out a bit to transform. So even though we have a small area of land, this is going to work quite well, I believe. Also, we had that question over whether the water mesh here was going to be okay or not. We don't know. We simply don't know. So, uh, terrain objects. What? What? Wait, 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 what? Oh, I know. It's going to get a little bit spicy. Don't mind me. I'm just making things. Mm, BQRS ficus. You know it's going to happen. Of course it was going to happen. That's the wrong one. This is the right. That's not the right one either. Uh, yeah. Okay, Ficus 3 2. I, I saw the icon and I looked at the icon, but the icon didn't quite trigger in my mind. I was like, is that the right icon? No, it's not. Ugh, I don't want to be in the. I don't, I don't want to be in the thing. So we're going to. There are too many trees around here. Uh, we need it so it branches over the water. I believe that way is going to be okay. T transform, put it down into the ground, move it so it's, I mean we can move it into the rock, it's not actually that much of a problem at this point. Uh, so that's over the water. We're going to make a world tree, you bet we are. We press C to clone, and uh, we're going to move it back. Ooh, this is going to be risky. Uh, oh, it did select something else. It selected the other tree, I believe, so we can just rotate these around because uh, we want. Yeah, that's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Cool. Now, uh, can we select the other tree? Just randomly? Nope, that's going to be the rock. Okay, that's going to work. Uh, these two are now kind of in the way. So, T transform. Let's walk them to a new position here. And uh, that's going to be slightly better. Uh, can we walk this one to a new position where it's going to not be collided into the foliage of that tree. I'm not entirely sure. Whoop, nope. Could you not jump onto something else when we let go of you? Please, that would be great. That'd be sweet. Oh, oh, oh no. I think that works better. Right, excellent. Um, and then we can throw in here some bits and pieces, so terrain objects, make sure we don't have any selected because we've been a little bit lazy in the past few minutes uh, not doing that. And that's big, well, it's been a bit of a risk on our part. You never, you never want to be positioning stuff and just be like, oh, I've, I've moved that plus the rock in the background. Oh no, now I'm, now I can't undo because there is no undo in this. Excellent, we can see basically just the, just the tippity, tippity edge of the water, that's not a problem. So I'm going to throw some greenery in here. Uh, do we want anything else here? Well, what we can do is zip all the way down to the bottom, train objects again. Boop. Uh, Kwawa? Kwawa? Yeah, we did a little Kwawa tree. Oh, why would we not do that? Uh, you need to move it slightly further away from the uh, other objects than you think you do. Make sure it's in the ground. But uh, otherwise you might find it's unpickable. So that's just a little thing. Suddenly, this little island chain that had no, no uh, purpose being is looking a little bit more, just a little bit more. I still think this area here needs something doing to it. It just doesn't feel right, but yeah. Um, and we can always come back to it and revisit this later on and just, just uh, make it slightly better than it is. But you know what? You know what? I think we spent a lot of time on it. Uh, we can work on something else. 
what we can do is allow our uh, allow our subconscious to work on this in the background, which is the way map editing tends to work. You think, I've done this area, it's fine, it's passable, but there's just needs something else to make it shine. I wonder what that is. Hmm, I wonder why we've left such a big area there. Hmm. Hmm? I wonder why. Couldn't, couldn't possibly, couldn't, couldn't possibly, uh, couldn't possibly comment. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So we've put a skelly bob in a cave, because why would we not do that? We've made a lagoon, um, because that makes that area feel way more, way more enclosed, way more interesting. It makes the island feel a lot, lot bigger uh, for not much effort. Honestly, 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 honestly. And if we hop up into the sky, yeah, it's starting to look a lot like Christmas in that it's starting to look a lot like a themed island. And I'm kind of liking that. So I'm going to leave it there. If you're liking this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click the little bell because that'll give you notifications when videos go live. And I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. I'll catch you next time.